Hi, I'm Janet Wilson. I live on a fourth generation farm operation north of Poutier, and I'm the wife of a volunteer firefighter. I support including strong fire safety measures and the Tama County Industrial Solar Ordinance. Faulty installation is the leading cause of solar panel fires. Design flaws, component defects, foundation failures, frosting, flooding, humidity, hailstorms, animals, and buildup of debris such as grass or trash have been implicated in arcing or hot spots. Regardless of the cause, hot spots can result in solar panel backing materials catching fire. Long after the initial event, fire damaged panels can begin arcing and continue to generate potentially lethal amounts of direct current electricity as long as they are exposed to light until there is a system failure or other intervention. When solar cells burn, they release carcinogens, cadmium telluride, and gallium arsenide, as well as lethal amounts of phosphorus. Because inhalation of these nanoparticles causes silicosis in the lungs, a firefighter must wear a self-contained breathing apparatus. The toxic smoke and other noxious materials from solar panel fires contaminate the air as well as the soil, which seriously impacts biodiversity. These consequences are unlikely to be reversed after a fire. Solar panels are not a risk for explosion, but inverters and solar batteries are. Also, solar battery fires cannot be extinguished with water, adding to the danger. Solar panels can crack in high winds, sending blast shards flying. Solar projects add risk for wheat or dry grass fires. With exponential growth in the renewable energy sector, the number of fire occurrences will only increase. There were 71 industrial solar panel fires since 2015, with a 36% increase from 2017 to 2018, according to the U.S. Fire Administration. According to Fire Trace International, few solar projects utilize fire risk assessment because it is not required. Instead, solar companies rely on their insurance provider to cover the losses rather than implementing fire suppression technology. When automatic fire suppression systems are installed in high-risk areas of the facility, like the inverters, they can detect and suppress a fire before it spreads. These systems can also provide notification to shut down and disconnect the inverters. These systems should be required. Solar projects need to be inspected and tested by third parties with standardized quality assurance measures. They need to ensure defective, damaged, or prematurely aged components are properly replaced. Thank you for hosting this public forum and listening to our concerns.